Mm, boom, boom. What's going on guys? No, no, just checking in. Week eight of the summer shred. We are on the home stretch. Last week we weighed in at 216.6. Let's go ahead and get on the scale and see how things went. Spoiler alert. I got shit. Pow, pow. Lockdown. Uh, tool. As you guys can see, 215.2, feeling good about that. Uh, a pound to two pounds a week, it's perfect for me. So uh, I'm really pleased and we'll just keep doing what we've been doing because it's working. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. My mood this week has been great. You know, my mood this week has been really good. Uh, my mood these last couple, two, three weeks in general has been pretty darn good. I I've found a really good rhythm with what I'm doing in the gym. I found a really good rhythm with my lifestyle. I made the adjustment from going to bed late, waking up late to going to bed early, waking up early, because I get up at like five, uh, 5.30 now every day, or four days a week, five days a week, and then the other days like eight. And that's made a huge difference to my mood. I think that's like single-handedly the most impactful thing I've done in a long time for my mood and that is to change my sleep schedule and take that more seriously. So I feel really good about that. Outlook's been good, anxiety's been more at a minimum, spitting thoughts have been down, challenging those ruminating thoughts, that has improved. It seems like my mood has just gotten better and better, and so I'm incredibly grateful. I don't plan on changing a thing. My diet is more of the same. You know, I don't really feel like there's anything special to tell you. I'm not doing anything different than I've been doing. I stick to this lean meat, seeds, nuts, fruits, veggies, complex carbs, no gluten, no added sugar. So uh, we just got back from a workout and here's my breakfast. Here's what I'm about to put in my body. We got some bacon on deck. I wish I was Chris Jones, that fucker's so cool it hurts. And we got some steel cutouts with some fresh blueberries and some peanut butter on deck. That's my first meal and it's 8.34 for anyone who gives a good goddamn. A goddamn. I still slip here and there on the gluten. Yeah, I've actually slipped a teeny tiny bit uh, on the sugar, but it's been such small little slips. Like, I, I run a YouTube channel with my dad. I came to him three and a half years ago and we started a pediatric YouTube channel and we just had a video hit a million views uh, yesterday, which is really exciting. I've been producing, editing, uploading, and just managing that channel for three years and we had a video go viral in a sense. And so we celebrated and had some ice cream, but what I found What's really interesting is like my sugar tolerance is different. Like I don't eat sugar ever. So when I tried to even have one scoop of ice cream, I couldn't finish it because I, I get overwhelmed by the sugar and I feel overstimulated and amped up and I just kind of feel gross. So I think that's a really cool byproduct of this whole eating healthier to look good, feel good, is that I don't want to eat mass quantities of anything anymore, period. All my meals have been smaller. And when I eat the wrong foods, I can't tolerate them very well. So I don't even want to know what my threshold was when I was back at 246, binge eating McDonald's, Ben and & Jerry's, and anything else I can get my hands on donuts. I don't wanna know what my threshold was for sugar because now I can barely take it. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm still working on uh, portions. They're getting smaller and smaller and, and relatively frequent meals, but I mostly go based on how I feel. And I'm getting a good vibe for that. And since I'm checking the scale and of course, just watching my, my body composition change along with how my body's feeling and performance wise for workouts, it's pretty easy to know what to do now. Exercise continues to be awesome. The only hiccup I'm having uh, with this new journey of mine, which is just doing CrossFit, is that I'm having trouble taking care of my hands. Like, as you guys can see in this picture, my hands are getting fucked up right now. So I might break down and get some gloves, but otherwise, I'm continuing to love the variety uh, in training. I'm continuing to love uh, learning new things, improving my mobility, and, and then I still get to do my favorites. I still get to, um, you know, do pull-ups, I still get to do deadlifts, I still get to do heavy squats, I still get to do all the things I love. There's just been a lot more variety, which has really excited me, captivated me, if you will. And now I'm just trying not to be that dude that overly shares about it, but this is my channel, my platform, so I'm okay letting you guys know what I'm doing. But it's been a really cool addition, and I'm gonna continue to kill it, and enjoy it, and learn, and grow, and just have fun. I mean, like, I've found a way to have so much fun. And that's the most important aspect of my working out and my training. So that's like the one thing I tell anyone, if you love bodybuilding, bodybuild. You know, if you love cycling, go cycle. If you love CrossFit, CrossFit, just find something you love. And that way training can be, become a part of your lifestyle a lot more effortlessly. 
Week in review is that it was another good week and we are on the home stretch. I weighed in at 215 and my all time goal was to get to 205. I'm starting to think based on these posing pictures you're about to see that maybe I need to aim for like 195, 200. We're gonna see how I feel. But basically we got 10 pounds to go to get to my initial all time go. Hopefully goal, we can get there in five to six weeks. That would be great if that was attainable. But this last week was great. You know, and I'm gonna continue to just do what I've been doing. This is that um, phase of things where you just buckle down and you don't overthink it, you don't try to change it. You just continue to make baby adjustments and then just do it, do the work. And that's what I feel like I'm doing. I'm doing the work and I'm getting the benefits. I'm getting the, the rewards of trying to be disciplined, trying to alter my lifestyle. It's helping me with my mental health issues, depression, anxiety, it's helping me with my sleep issues. Obviously the body weight uh, has changed for the better. I feel like I'm holding on to a relatively large amount of muscle whilst losing fat, which feels good for my self-confidence. You know, it's all coming full circle right now, and I'm just so grateful that I've trusted the process and stayed dedicated. Uh, it means a lot to me, because I have a history of letting myself down. And so right now, I'm not letting myself down, and that's paying off mentally, emotionally, and physically. It really is, on all accounts. So thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for keeping me motivated, and thank you for letting me share. I genuinely appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Uh, you're about to see some posing pictures. I got some great half natty lighting in my garage, so shadows are great. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. Of course, I put out videos throughout the week, but if you're here only for the weekly wins, then we will see you on Sunday. If you have any suggestions, I'm always open to them to how to make these videos better for you. I'm doing a pretty good job, by the way, at using my Instagram account every single day. So if you want to see more gym stuff, I'm posting a lot of that. If you want to follow me, link in the description. So I feel like I can share things on my Instagram that I can't share here. But otherwise, have a great week, guys and gals. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take good care of yourself. Big no-no out. Oh, here come those posing pictures. So if you're not trying to see me half naked, shield your eyes. Peace.